What's good YouTube? This is White Boy 503 coming at you with another PSP tutorial. As you can see, I'm using the uh, Remote Joy Lite version 0.19 to emulate my PSP, as you can tell, onto the screen. If you don't know how to do this, go check out check out my bad. Go check out my other uh, tutorial on how to put it on there. It's pretty cool. You basically. I could take this, grab it by the corner. Or actually, I could just go like this. Just click that button up there. And bam. Now, my whole screen, as you can tell, my whole screen is my PSP. And you can sit here, basically play, play your PSP on your screen. Use, use, this is a controller, basically. And basically play, play any of your games. But, uh. I use it for the tutorials, as you can see, I guess. But uh, back onto the tutorial, actually. Um, we're going to be doing the uh, XMB control. And uh, what this does is basically lets you access... I don't have it on my PSP right now because I took it off for the tutorial. It basically puts down here, like in... Basically puts uh, Pro Settings or uh, ME Settings. And since I'm running... I'll show you what I'm running... I'm running 6.60 Pro V10. As you can see right there, 6.60 Pro V10. I'm using my PSP 3000, as you can tell from the small ring on the back. Yeah. And you can tell because my camera focus. It's 3001. Four model module four, uh, model 4G. So yeah, um, so yeah, let's get on with the tutorial. So first of all, I'm going to uh, connect USB, and that's gonna black out the screen. Um, it's gonna black out the screen, but uh, cause Remote Joy is retarded for that. It doesn't like actually like ever. It, I don't know, it's just, it's dumb sometimes, I guess. So what you want to do is you want to, well, actually, first of all, you want to download this file right here. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Right-click on it, extract to folder if you do not have an extraction program. Personal message me, and I will uh, get you a, um, I'll put a link, uh, or I'll, I'll send you a link to my personal setup file for the WinRAR. Um, so, yeah, if you don't have one, you can do that or whatever, or you can... Go find it yourself. Um, so once you do that, you'll get a folder just like this, and all it's gonna have is an eboot in there. So what you want to do is you want to come down to your PSP, go into your game folder, and you just want to drag and drop this into here. For me, I'm gonna put it in the, I'm gonna put it in my homebrew folder because uh, I have the categories. <clears throat> Categories light on my uh, PSP, and if you don't know what that is, it categorizes your stuff like my Final Fantasy folder, which got the Final Fantasy games in there, uh, and then the emulators, of course, for the emulators, and the homebrew for the homebrew, of course. So, uh, exit out of there, and then I'll um, reset my VSH, uh, v yeah, VSH real quick, so I can. Pull it back up on the um. Uh, sorry, I dropped the cord. Uh, pull back up on the um. Remote joy. So now, what you want to do is you want to go down to your game. For me, homebrew. And you want to click uh, this right here, the CXMB version 1.5. I'm gonna unplug my <clears throat> USB because it doesn't always work when it's going to a game or whatever so it's just safer to, to do that way you don't have to exit out of the game reset the VSH, VSH again and then have to go through all that crap again so I'm just gonna unplug it and I'll plug it back in when it comes back up so plug it in and what you want to do is yeah it'll say install it what you want to do is install click install it's just done back and shouldn't take all that long and exit out sh 
should pull back up. And of course it's not going to because I didn't disconnect it. Okay, so I'm going to exit out of that. Sorry about this. This is what I meant when I said that uh, you need to... Um, I'm going to have to reset the VS, VSH again. Sorry about that. Um, you got to unplug it when you go back to your XMB. And when you go into a game, you have to unplug it if you're trying to emulate it on the your computer or whatever. Because if you don't, it will just blank screen and not do a damn thing. So I'm going to open this up again. Plug my USB back in. And there we go. So now what you want to do is you want to come over here. Or actually. You come here. Hmm. Okay, so I guess it's just going to name itself System Settings. That's what your System Settings is going to be. My bad. It's tripping out for a second. So you just click on your System Settings and it'll, it'll have a categorize, your current configuration, all that stuff. It's basically what your CXMB is going to be. I think. Yeah, you, you do, if you want to just click... Uh, configuration, it'll, it'll send you to your... Um, actually, okay, so you can go to your configuration, your advanced, and standard. Standard will basically, I think, take you to your regular stuff like your nickname and all that kind of stuff, and then. Plugins where you click on that and it'll show your plugins. You can turn them. My camera would focus. I don't know if you can see that, but it says CXMB right here. Then it'll show it's on, category light on, and it'll put below it where if it's in v VSH or the. Uh, God, I picked a crappy theme to do this with. But, uh, or crappy color to do this with, I guess. But, uh, yeah, so that's basically it. So, check out the other videos. Check out the Remote Joy Light if you do not already have it. Check out check out all of them, basically, because I've got a lot up so far. I think I've got, like, eight or nine tutorials for just PSP. And then I've got three Android tutorials. I've got, I think i got four challenges so far. Like the cinnamon challenge, chubby bunny, raw onion, and wasabi. So yeah, just go check those out. Help me promote my uh, channel. Share it. Put it on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, freaking MySpace, whatever. Um, basically, help me. Um, help me grow. Basically, that's gonna be my, my motto for a while. Is uh, help me grow. So I'll see you guys later. All right? Peace.